We are all familiar with the guiding principles of the NHS, that healthcare should be free at the point of delivery and available to all. Another important principle is that the NHS aspires to the highest standards of excellence. To achieve this, the latest research and evidence must be used to guide patient care. But that's not always as easy as it sounds. In the digital age, we are collecting more and more data from patients. This information is used in the care of an individual, but it could also be learned from and better used to improve standards of care for all patients. Take Sid, for example. Sid has a heart condition and visits a healthcare professional every six months for a checkup. The healthcare professional records lots of information. If Sid's data is combined with the data collected from lots of other patients, it brings new possibilities for optimising healthcare. Researchers can analyse large data sets to look for patterns that may improve our understanding of diseases. In this way, care can be improved for all patients, including Sid. But a lot of data that is routinely collected is not fully used for learning in this way. Clinicians are busy doing clinical work and research has been separated from practice so much that the two areas don't always talk to each other well. Research focuses very heavily on asking individuals for consent to use their data in specific ways. But this is not always possible in practice. For example, it could be useful to learn from the data collected before a patient is admitted to a particular department, such as intensive care. But when these patients first entered the hospital, we would not have known how their care might progress, so would not have asked for consent to learn from the data before their admission into intensive care. But many people do have concerns about how their data might end up being used, so consent is important. However, not all concerns can be properly addressed through individual consent. The current process puts the burden of judging the costs and benefits of using data on individuals, who must make judgments based on reading long texts, often full of legal jargon, and the bigger picture might be lost. We need a better system that allows clinical data to be used for research that can be fed back into practice more seamlessly than currently happens. This will help to ensure that care is of the highest standards of excellence. It's really important that this system is trustworthy and can promote and protect the interests of individuals, groups and communities. To be able to develop this system democratically, we need lots of people to contribute and tell us about their concerns, experiences and hopes for the future. We would be very interested in hearing your thoughts on this. For more information about how you can contribute, please contact us. Clinical Ethics and Law Southampton CELS at sotten.ac.uk